Hey there, third grade. Um, happy Tuesday. So today, our lesson is going to be drawn with Crayola crayons, um, and it'll be me drawing them, so we'll see how that goes. Um, as you know, we've been talking about the Beatitudes. So far, we've talked about Beatitudes 1, 2, and 3. So of course, that means today we are on the fourth Beatitude. The fourth Beatitude that Jesus taught us goes like this. Blessed, which of course, that word means holy, right? So blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. For they shall be satisfied. So the whole thing together goes, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Okay, so when we hunger and thirst for something, that means that we really want it, right? Because when you're hungry, you really want food. When you're thirsty, you really want water. So what does it mean to hunger and thirst for righteousness? Well, like my little guy says there at the top, to hunger and thirst for righteousness means we want to do what is right. Not always be right, but we want to do what is right. And to do what is right means that we would be acting like an image of God. I drew the little triangle there to represent grace that's coming from Jesus, who always gives us grace. And Jesus also promises that if we do what is right, we'll be happy on earth, and then we'll be happy in heaven. So I've put together three different scenarios for you guys to look at and figure out what would be the right thing to do in each of these scenarios or situations. So let's get started with our first one. And there are only three. Alrighty, in situation number one, you come downstairs to your kitchen and you notice that the kitchen is a complete mess. There are dishes everywhere and it looks terrible. So. You have two options. You could either A, leave the dishes. They're not all your dishes anyway, so you could leave them. Or B, realize that there's such a mess there that you could help clean it up. So, in order to do the right thing, what do you guys think it would be, A or B? If you guys picked B, then that was correct. That would be the right thing to do. One of our Ten Commandments is to honor our father and our mother, and that would be a way that you could honor your father or your mother, is to help with the dishes. Okay, so in our next situation, um, there is a cookie jar filled with a lot of cookies, and it just so happens that you come downstairs and you eat one too many cookies from the cookie jar. So, your mom comes downstairs and she sees the cookie jar, and she says, oh my gosh, why are all the cookies gone? Who ate them? Where did they go? Now, of course, you're a little nervous because you're the one who ate all the cookies in the cookie jar. So you have two options here. Um, and the first one, A, option A is you can admit that you ate all the cookies. Uh, you can tell the truth to your mom and put her at ease. Or B, you can not admit that you ate all the cookies from the cookie jar and you can lie. So, what, what would be right? What would be the right thing to do? A or B? Now, this one's not too hard. Hopefully, you guys picked A. Uh, it would be better to tell the truth to your mom. And in fact, like I said about the first one, that is one of our Ten Commandments. Thou shall not lie. So, that would be the correct answer for that one. Okay, so let's get started on this next situation. Also, our last one. Okie dokie. So, you are heading to church with your family on a Sunday. And it just so happens that you don't really want to go to church. You're kind of tired. You would have preferred to sleep in. And you don't really want to go to church. But, of course, your parents are going. So, you have to go. So, in this situation, you have two different ways that you could react to it. You could either A, whine and complain, and in general, just let everyone know how upset you are because you don't want to go to church. 
or you could be. You could remain quiet and not complain and happily go with your parents because they want you to go. So, if we want to do what is right, should we choose A or B? The answer, of course, in this case is B. It would be better to go with your parents and not complain. And that has to do with uh, our commandment that says we need to honor Sunday as a church day. And then also that would be another way to honor your parents is to not complain. Okay, I will have a question up on Google Classroom for you guys related to this video. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and bye-bye. I'll see you on Friday.